If you're looking for some coastal charm and breathtaking views, there's no better place to visit than the great state of Maine. And what better way to experience the rugged beauty of this northeastern paradise than by exploring its most iconic landmarks, the lighthouses. Join Viewcation and join us on a journey to discover the best lighthouses to visit in Maine. Cape Nettick Lighthouse Roosted atop Cape Nettick in York, the Nubbel Light stands as a beloved icon of Maine's rich maritime history. This historic beacon, completed in 1879, sits on a scenic island just a stone's throw from York's rugged coastline. And while a cable car once connected the keeper of the lighthouse to the mainland, these days visitors can simply drive to Sawyer Park for breathtaking views of this stunning tower. For a truly unforgettable experience, consider booking a scenic cruise with finest kind and take taking in the nubble light from a unique vantage point, the sparkling sea. Marvel at the elegant, York-style coastal residences as you cruise by and witness firsthand the beauty that has made this lighthouse one of the most famous in all of Maine. Marshall Point Lighthouse Nestled in the scenic, southern reaches of the Maine seashore, the Marshall Point Lighthouse, much like the one we just discussed, stands as a shining testament to the state's rich and storied maritime heritage. Built in 1858, along with its accompanying keeper's house, gardens, and museum, this 24-foot beacon is a beauty to behold. Once you've explored every nook and cranny of this historic lighthouse, be sure to venture out on a hike to the nearby fishing village of Port Clyde. Here, you can indulge in some of the freshest lobster and seafood Maine has to offer, before embarking on a thrilling cruise with the Monhegan boat line. Prepare to be awestruck by the incredible sea life that awaits, including playful harbor seals, majestic mink whales, and even the beloved puffins of the Maine coast. But don't forget to save some time to fully appreciate the Marshall Point Lighthouse itself. You'll find a light tower accessible via a charming walkway, as well as a delightful summer kitchen and the original oil house. And be sure to visit the small adjacent museum room filled with fascinating research findings, photographs, and documents that delve deep into the area's rich history. Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse Set against the majestic backdrop of Mount Desert Island's craggy coastline lies the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse, a historic treasure that has stood the test of time since construction in 1858. Although visitors aren't able to step inside, they can still take in its beauty by exploring the lush walking trails that meander around the property. With panoramic views of the rugged main shoreline, these trails offer a perfect vantage point to admire the lighthouse and its dramatic setting within Acadia National Park park. Whether you're an intrepid hiker or just a casual stroller, the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse's surrounding trails offer a memorable experience for all. Getting to the lighthouse is a breeze, too. You can either arrive by car or hop aboard the complimentary Island Explorer Shuttle, which drops visitors off just a short half-mile from this iconic attraction. Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse as its name implies, Maine's Two Lights State Park was named after the two lighthouses that were built there in 1828. And it's no wonder why. With over 98 shipwrecks along this treacherous coastline, these lighthouses were a vital beacon of hope for sailors in need. One of these lighthouses, the Cape Elizabeth, still stands tall and proud today. But it's not just the stunning views of the rocky coastline that draws visitors to the landmark. Just 45 miles north, in Bath, you'll find the Maine Maritime Museum and their incredible exhibit, Into the Lantern, a lighthouse experience. Here, you can step into a full-scale replica of the Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse and explore its tower lantern room, complete with the iconic Fresnel lens. The original lighthouse featured two towers, with one emitting a fixed beam and the other a rotating one. So whether you're a history buff, a maritime enthusiast, or just looking for a breathtaking photo opportunity, the Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse is a must-visit. Portland Head Light just a quick five-mile jaunt south of downtown Portland lies a true main icon, the Portland Headlight, proudly holding the title of the state's oldest lighthouse. This historic beacon was first illuminated in 1791, and it still stands watch over the rocky coastline from its perch within Fort William State Park. Visitors to the Portland Headlight can step back in time by exploring the museum housed within the original keeper's quarters, or wander through the park to marvel at the old fort structures and take in the spectacular views of the vast ocean. And if you happen to find yourself there between May and October, make sure to indulge in a legendary lobster roll from the Bite into Maine lobster truck. Spring Point Ledge Light 
Tucked away just a hop, skip, and a 10-minute drive from the iconic Portland Head Light lies another gem of the main coastline, the Spring Point Ledge Light. This unique lighthouse is not just a beautiful sight to feast your eyes on, but also the only Casson-style light station in the entire U.S. Originally built in 1897 to safeguard ships from a perilous ledge lurking near the busy Portland Harbor shipping channel, the Spring Point Ledge Light has been a stalwart guardian of these waters for over a century, and thanks to the addition of a sturdy granite breakwater path in 1951, visitors can now safely stroll right up to the lighthouse and take in its historic beauty up close. But be warned, navigating the rocky terrain of the breakwater path can be tricky, so it may not be the best choice for tiny seafarers or the elderly. But for those up for the adventure, the Spring Point Ledge Light offers an unforgettable experience free of charge. As you watch the boats glide by, take a moment to appreciate the historic Fort Preble nearby and bask in the salty sea air. Portland Breakwater Light Nicknamed the Bug Light for its comparably diminutive size, this little lighthouse packs in a big punch when it comes to charm and history. It has the distinction of being the shortest lighthouse in all of Maine. And it's conveniently located near the other famous lighthouses of Portland, including the iconic Headlight. Originally built with a wooden design in 1855, the bug light was eventually replaced with the current decorative Greek column design in 1875. Since then, it served as a dependable marker for the edge of the rocky breakwater protecting Portland Harbor. And it's free to visit and open daily. Owl's Head Lighthouse if you're seeking a quintessential Maine experience, look no further than the Owl's Head Lighthouse, one of the most iconic landmarks in the state. Situated at the entrance to Rockland Harbor on the cozy coastal town of Owl's Head, this historic beacon is nestled in the western reaches of Penobscot Bay and is owned by the U.S. Coast Guard, licensed to the American Lighthouse Federation. Upon arrival, you'll find ample parking, steps from the lighthouse grounds, which are open to the public. Take in the dazzling sights of the rugged main coastline from afar, or venture up close for an unforgettable view high above the rocky terrain, complete with sweeping vistas of the distant islands and Maine's famed Windjammer fleet. Pemaquid Point Lighthouse if you're looking for a truly iconic Maine experience, look no further than the Pemaquid Point Lighthouse, a gorgeous beacon located about 67 miles northeast of Portland and immortalized on the Maine State U.S. Quarter. Dating back to 1827 and built at the behest of none other than John Quincy Adams, this striking tower remains in operation to this day. Visitors can immerse themselves in its rich history by exploring the Fisherman's Museum located within the original keeper's house on site. And for those looking for a truly immersive experience, book a stay in the apartment upstairs and live like a genuine lighthouse keeper for a night. On top of that, the grounds also boast an art gallery, a learning center, and even picturesque picnic areas perfect for savoring Maine's natural beauty. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Maine? Have you seen any of these lighthouses? Let us know in the comments section below. 